Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the third week of August reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So let's see what is coming up for Taurus for this week time. I will be adding uh, oracle cards in this reading. I will be adding charms as well. I will be also adding some color cards as well. So stay tuned for a lot more to come in this reading. So yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general reading with Medic and not resonating with everyone out there. So always pick the science messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Taurus, let's see how this week is going to be for you guys starting from today, 15th through the 21st of August 2021. Let's see what is coming up for Taurus for this week time. Let's begin. Nine of Pentacles, I do see you very much focused on yourself. Uh, you will feel very self-centered where you have to work on yourself, your your abundance, your career goals, financial goals, uh, personal growth, uh, and stuff like that. Whatever that's going to make you feel good, happy, you will be doing your uh, all effort to make yourself feel good, better, positive. Let's see more cards here. Seven of Pentacles, I feel like, you know... Um, There's this thing, there's this emptiness that you have from within. L like, you know, you, even though you are working on yourself, your personal growth, but there is some sort of emptiness. There are certain things that you really want to pursue, but then maybe because of the failures in the past around that area, maybe it's love life situation. When you think of your love life, you feel like, you know, maybe you don't have, uh, you will not get the reward. You will not get the love. You will not get uh, what you desire out of it. So you feel like, you know, you you might be kind of, you know, keeping yourself busy with your work and, you know, other stuff. But deep down, you're not feeling happy. You're not feeling content. You're not feeling fulfilled. There is this emptiness that you would be having around your love life. You would feel like, you know, I wish I was getting the same, uh, you know, amount of reward that I'm getting in my work life in, in into my love life as well. You might feel that, you know, you might have been putting a lot of effort into your love life as well, but then you got nothing out of it. So it's more like, you know, you're going to keep yourself working on yourself and stuff like that, which, which you see that will give you the fruit of your labor. When it comes to your love life, you somehow feel like you know, it's not going to get you what you want with the, you know, the success, the, the happiness that you seek in your love life. You are not getting it there with, the, with a specific someone or in your love life. So you will feel like, you know, no, you are not ready to put your time into it. So there is this lack of um, motivation to pursue love life there. Let's see more cards here. Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, even though, you know, it seems like, you know, you are like, you know, thinking very negative or in a, in a very limited perspective around your love life. If you invest, if you uh, have the mutual interest in, in, in a relationship with a specific someone, if you invest, you will get the reward out of it. But somehow right now you feel like, you know, you don't have enough time. You don't want to do that. Uh, maybe you are feeling a pull towards reaching out a specific someone that you think that maybe you cannot have uh, the the result or the outcome that you desire with that specific someone. So there is this uh, lack of fulfillment in, uh, or maybe it's a fear, you know, it can be a fear-based thought as well, where you feel like maybe you will not be able to see uh, things working out in that situation. Maybe you feel that you have en you don't have enough time to pursue uh, your love life right now. So even though you want this um, emotional fulfillment, but still you are choosing not to work towards it. It's more like uh, your fears, your past, your mindset, your old patterns are stopping you to have what you desire. Because I feel like you, know, you are holding yourself back from communication, uh, which is causing this emptiness. You are trying to keep yourself busy with the work, with the family stuff, with friends and family maybe, but then that doesn't satisfy your soul and that's exactly what is happening here you might you might be like you know in the very beginning of the week time maybe you're going to be keeping yourself busy with family and stuff but that's not going to get you what you want so i feel like you know towards the later part of the week you will be talking to the one that you love you will be talking to the one that you uh, really want to be with because that person that one situation in your life is something that brings you a lot more happiness than you have being here in the family situation or doing the work that you love doing which is your passion maybe whatever it is 
but that doesn't satisfy your soul your soul gets satisfied with this person and this person only so i feel like you know towards second half of the week time you will be taking step towards your person uh let's see more cards here four of swords ah there is a back and forth and on and off energy here in this connection it seems like you know sometimes you indulge into this connection and then you pull away then you indulge into this connection and then you pull away it's more like you know the time when you have this emptiness which is uh, coming because of the lack of emotional fulfillment you go to this person you talk to this person you spend time with this person and then you pull back then you be in this situation for some time then you do the same so there has been like on and off that you might have been going on uh, with the, your specific someone uh, you have not been consistent in your love life with this person so I do see the same cycle repeating then in this week time initially you're gonna be very happy feeling good positive but then you're gonna stop feeling emptiness and that's why you are going to be reaching out to your person but then you are going to leave that situation again and go in that isolation mode of yours um, you are unable to maintain a healthy balance um, but yes what it does to you is you feel very happy and excited when you spend some time with this person you feel kind of you know as if uh, you have a boost of energy you feel so happy you feel so uh, motivated but when you don't have this person when you don't talk to this person or spend time with this person you feel kind of empty um, seems like you know this time when you have the on and off with this person let me take one card for this okay okay i got it now i feel like you know this time when you're going to approach your person to have an on and off they are not going to cater you that's going to push you to bring justice in the situation because this on and off has to stop until unless this on and off stops you are not going to think about this in a in a in a, in a positive way I do see that you know this time around when you can approach to your person they are going to say no to you to spending time with you to have that maybe sexual relationship with you maybe to have that you know on and off with you they will tell you okay fine if we if you really want us then let's have it in a very respectful in a in an official way where you are you know um, officially uh, you know um, owning this connection where you know that this is yes we are together where your family knows their family knows you want something stable like that so i feel like you know that's the reason why you would feel the need to do the justice because otherwise you're not going to feel positive so that need to take it to the next level is going to come through when your person is going to say no to you this time so under the deck we do have the six of wands i feel like you know your love life is going to change because uh the things that you were ignoring you will not be able to ignore them now and you will have to take that step forward in this regard to your, your you know your specific someone so yeah let's see how what is the oracle guidance here let's see what is the oracle message here like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving you really want this person don't you and this person is going to make you understand that you know if you really want love you have to love me as well like you know i cannot give my love to you all the time and then i get nothing so I feel like you know, that's exactly what this person is going to tell you. And they would love you because they do love you, but they want love in return as well. So that's exactly why they are going to be like, you know, holding themselves back until unless you come forward and uh, give them the uh, kind of love that they desire as well. Because you always get what you want with them, but they never get that. So this time around, they will make sure that they also get what they want with you snake shed old skin they really want to shed away the old patterns that has been happening in this connection uh, which which might have kept the connection going on and off uh, for quite some time mm -hmm. and I feel like you know it's high time this uh, this on and off situation ends so you could have a better you know and stable future together beautiful energies beautiful beautiful <sighs> magic guardian unlock the magic within I feel like you know your person uh could have been like using law of attraction techniques to to um to unlock what they uh always wanted to have with you they always had that magic from within which can manifest whatever they wanted with you but somehow they never used it the right way maybe they have pulled away from you maybe they are like you know taking a strong stand uh about this connection and how they want this connection to move forward which is bringing this magical change and this connection 
that you will be experiencing with your person during this week time. Let's see the color cards now. Let's see what two colors could be lucky and significant for you for this week time. Let's see. Brilliance, number 26. For some of you, it could be age 26 as well. Discover your spark sparkle. It's high time that you discover the sparkle that this connection has to offer or bring to you in your life. So it seems like, you know, this uh, blue and white color is going to be significant for you. Spending some time near the waterfall could also help you uh, have the energized energy, which is going to make you feel like, yes, you are ready for it. Purple developmental clarity number 39. For some of you, it could, age, could be age 39 as well. This shade of purple is going to be lucky for you as well. You can also meditate on this color as well. And yes, it's gonna. this week is going to be giving you a lot of mental clarity around what needs to be done in this connection. Let's see the charms now. Let's see the charms has to add to the week. So we do have lots of alphabets here. X, H, M, T, Z, NF, I do see you having a beautiful home life uh, very soon, very soon with this person. You might be getting married to this person, you might be moving in together with this person, but yes, I do see a major shift in this connection between the two of you. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. I feel like you know, there's a strong manifestation energy here as well. The wish around your love life is also going to get granted. You might be traveling with this person in, in a near future as well. For some of you, you might be living with this person, uh, living away from this person as well. You know that could be the case for some of you, but it seems like you know things are changing, and you will be starting, you know, to live with this person very soon. With the button, it's more like you know you and them are already tied to each other. So it's high time that you embrace what you feel for each other, rather than like you know going on and off uh, on uh, your convenience or on their convenience if the energies are reversed. So yeah, this promise is coming up for you for all this week time. And if the reading helps you to know uh, wherever that is coming up for you, do like, share, and subscribe if you're willing to get a personal read or any of the services that I offer. Check the description box for that. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.